evening and welcome from a very cold Rochester, Indiana and tonight's non-conference matchup between the visiting Plymouth Pilgrims and your Rochester Zebras tonight here on RTC TV4. Glad to be back with you here. First game of the new year for us. And it should be a good one here. The JV contest getting ready to go. So we're going to get the starting lineups and get underway here from Rochester. And forward, a 5'7 inch junior, number 11, Claire McDonald. And guard of 5'3", freshman, number 12, Timmy Gantz. And guard of 5'7", freshman, number 14, Sophie Miller. And guard of 5'3", junior, wearing number 20, Callie Topol. And at forward, a 5'5", sophomore, number 32, Riley Mann. The Lady Pilgrims are coached by John Horvath. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. At guard, 5'2", freshman, number 3, Riley Lovinger. At guard, 5'6", and a freshman, number 10, Dara Strasser. In the middle, 5'9", and a freshman, number 25, Audrey Oliver. At a forward, 5'7", and a freshman, number 20, Ella McCarter. And at forward, 5'3 and a freshman, number 40, Mia Hatashev. The Navy Seekers are coached by Mr. Phil Bowers. Tonight's junior varsity officials. All right, the Zebras going with their typical starting lineup here for the JV. Clevenger, Strasser, McCarter, Bullinger, and Houdeshell. For the Roger, for the Plymouth Pilgrims, it's going to be McDonald's, McDonald, Gantz, Miller, Hopple, and Mann, the starting five as we get set to go here. JV contest. Plymouth Pilgrims, Rochester Zebras here on RTC TV4. It's going to be Bullinger, and the tip is controlled by Plymouth. Those of you joining on Channel 4 here in Rochester, we welcome you in. We're just getting underway between the Rochester Zebras and the Plymouth Pilgrims tonight. JV contest up first. No score here between Rochester and Plymouth. First possession here for the Zebras. How to shell. Kicks it down, Strasser, nice pass in, Bullinger. They're going to say that was tipped by Plymouth. And the Pilgrims come away with the rebound, quickly pushing it up the floor. And that shot is good for Claire McDonald. Clevenger's shot is off the mark. And yeah, that's going to be a turnover. Zebras will get the ball back. It's a little choppy here at first. I apologize. I did take a couple weeks off over Christmas and New Year's, and so I got to kind of get back into the rhythm of uh, filming here. Uh, almost a uh, turnover. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Plymouth. So how to shell will inbounds on the far sideline. 
Pullen's going to drop back into the half court. Tipped out off of McDonald, so it will be Zebra's ball. Clevenger gets it over to Strasser. Back up top, Clevenger, right wing, three. Good, Riley Clevenger. The assist for Strasser. Zebras have their first lead of the game. And it's going to be another turnover for Plymouth. I want to say hi to the Van Gilders if they're watching up in Plymouth. I know uh, I was talking to uh, Craig Hopple, who used to be my neighbor, used to be my uh, coach at uh, Culver, and well, he was my JV coach way back when. And his youngest daughter is out there playing for Plymouth. Number 20, Haley Hopple. So let's say hi to them. Zebras lead early 3 2, 422 to go in the first quarter of the JV contest. There is the aforementioned Haley Hopple. Strasser gets into the passing lane with the steal and the bucket. Take another look at that one as Dara Strasser gets the steal. The bucket is good and Strasser is at the free throw line to shoot the old fashioned three point play for the Zebras. It is off the back iron. Emily Viger checks into the game for the Zebras. Bollinger dives down, kicks it back up top to How to Shell, and that's going to be tied up by Gantz. It will stay Rochester's ball on the jump. 3.49 to go here in the first quarter. Zebras lead 5-2. Up top, Ella McCarter, three-pointer off the mark, and the rebound to Miller for the Pilgrims. And all the way in, 4-2 is Hopple. Zebras turn the ball over. Strasser going to check back into the game for Viger. So a bucket and a turnover, and it's a one-point game here. The Pilgrims with an opportunity. Shot off the mark. Offensive glass, though, for Mann. Man gets it in to Miller, and she puts it in, puts the Pilgrims back in front by one. A little pressure there by Plymouth. Zebra's able to break the press. Out of Shell's three-pointer is off. Miller gets the rebound for Plymouth. Gantz brings it back up top, resets the offense. 
McDonald has it left wing, loses it off her foot. And a good hustle play there by Mia Hadeshell, and that's going to be a foul on Miller, her first. First of the game. Excellent job there by the freshman Mia Hadeshell jumping on that loose ball. Into Bollinger, her shot off the mark. The loose ball goes to Miller. Miller's shot off the mark. The rebound is going to be tied up. And it will be Plymouth's ball on the jump. And the bucket by Miller. Two more for Miller. Three-point lead now for Plymouth, 8-5. And turnover by the Zebras. Third turnover of the quarter here by Rochester. It's the Zebras team that is coming off of a really good Christmas break. They won the Wabash County Tournament. Wednesday and Thursday, I think, between Christmas and New Year's. A traveling called on Plymouth. That's their fourth turnover of the quarter. Out of shell, picks up her dribble, able to find McCarter in the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Hopple with the rebound. Hopple's going to push the tempo. And Hopple will go to the free throw line. She gets fouled by Mia Houdeshell, her first. First team foul on Rochester here of the first quarter. Hallie Hopple with an opportunity here to add to a three-point advantage for the Plymouth Pilgrims. First free throw is up and good. Sydney Lamb comes in for the Zebras. Lexi Myers comes in. First sub of the game so far for Plymouth. Second free throw off the mark, but the offensive glass by Miller. She has six. And the lead is six for the Pilgrims. Carter picks up her dribble, able to find how to shell. The Zebras just get it across the timeline. Nice turnaround move by Lamb for two. Just coming into the game and getting a bucket for the Zebras. That was a uh, nice post move there by Sidney Lamb. Miller kicks it over to Hopple. Her 15-footer is long, but the offensive glass by Myers. Her shot put back no good, but the put back by Mann... So a couple of second chance opportunities there for Plymouth and they push their lead back up to six. And another turnover by Rochester and a traveling called on Plymouth. So back to back turnovers. Four now for Rochester, five for Plymouth here in the quarter. That will give the Zebras the ball on the right baseline. How does Shell will inbounds it for Rochester? Kicks it out to McCarter. McCarter, left wing three at the buzzer. No good after one quarter of play. The Plymouth Pilgrims lead 13-7 over your Rochester Zebras. Take a break and come back with second quarter action here on RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School after one quarter, the Plymouth Pilgrims lead the Rochester Zebras in the JV contest 
I am going to put JV on here, and I hope that I don't forget. I've been kind of adverse to putting that on the scoreboard because I seem to forget when the varsity game pops up to take the JV off, but I know it's hard when you're at home watching to know whether it's the JV or varsity. So it is Rochester ball here to start the second quarter. The Zebras trail by six. Rochester still undefeated on the season in four quarter games. They did lose to Argus in a two quarter matchup earlier this year, or actually last year, but earlier in the season. And that ball is going to be picked up by Hopple there. It was a uh, kind of a errant pass, but Hopple able to get to it, keep the possession for Plymouth. And a breakdown on the defense, and McDonald puts in two more for the Pilgrims. McDonald with four points, and the largest lead of the game for Plymouth is eight, 15-7. And another turnover for the Zebras. That's six here already in the first half. Double dribble, yeah. Turnover. Passes off of the hands of Strasser, so another turnover for Rochester. Only you're going to check back into the game. Checking in at the quarter break for Plymouth was number 25, Emma Krupp, a sophomore. Five-five guard for the Pilgrims. There is Krupp, takes it all the way to the basket, gets around Bullinger, shot off the mark. Rebound attempt is tipped out to Hadeshell. Hadeshell picks up her dribble, and that pass is going to go out of bounds. So quickly here, minute and a half gone in the quarter. Four more turnovers in the quarter. Eight for the game for the Rochester Zebras. Coach Phil Bowers is not going to be that happy about that. That's about what they've been doing in a game. They already have that here with 5.20 to go in the first half. Gans pulls up from 16 feet. Her shot is long, and she's going to get called for the loose ball foul on the rebound attempt. That is her first foul. Back into the game for the Zebras is number 20, Ella McCarter. Little three-quarter court pressure here by Plymouth. Carter gets around Hopple, gets it down in the corner to Watson. Nice pass into Bullinger. Watson had checked into the game at the quarter break as well for Rochester. Bullinger almost gets the steal, taking it all the way in the Paint is man. That one's going to be stolen by Plymouth. Shot off the mark and a loose ball foul called on the rebound. That steal by man. They're going to get Haley Hopple on the foul, her first. I've obviously missed a couple fouls. They said that's the team's fifth. I only have them for three. And we'll catch that up as soon as we figure out who the other two fouls belong to for Plymouth. How to shell cross court to Clevenger. Drives in. Ten footer is good for Riley Clevenger.
Clevenger with five, and its lead is down to four, so they've cut it in half. Was up to eight at one point here in the early in the second quarter. Nice cut. Back over to Krupp. Krupp's shot is tipped. And Hattishell throws it off of McDonald out of bounds. Great play there by Mia Hattishell. And the ref has a shoe untied there. Oh, Lendl Miller, he's a uh, old neighbor of ours from Peru. Actually used to work with my father-in-law at Miami County Highway Department one day, a long time ago. A steal, and then a foul is going to be called on Bullinger, I believe. That is Audrey's first foul, only the second team foul on Rochester here in the first half. Checking in for Plymouth is number 21. Kayla Johnson. Little runner in the paint is off the mark for McDonald. Loose ball and how does Shell comes away with it for the Zebras. And there's going to be a foul on McDonald. Her first, that is the sixth team foul on Plymouth. So Rochester will be in the one in the bonus here on the next common foul by the Pilgrims. How Shell gets trapped at the top, able to get it over to Darius Strasser. Strasser wraparound pass into Bollinger, shot off the mark, and the foul on the rebound. McCarter, I believe, is going to get fouled, and she'll go to the line shooting the one in the bonus. Oh, they're going to say two. Okay. Kayla Johnson's going to pick up the foul. So they're going to say she was in the act of shooting, so McCarter gets two. Four-point lead for the Pilgrims with 2.56 to go here in the first half, and McCarter is good on the first. Cuts it to a three-point Pilgrim advantage. One more free throw coming here for the freshman, Ella McCarter. And good on both. Cuts that lead down to two, 15-13. Just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Rochester will be shooting one and the bonus for the rest of the quarter. Of course, unless they get to 10, then they'll be shooting two. And a traveling call. Only the second turnover by the Pilgrims here in the second quarter. I have them for seven here in the first half. So an opportunity here for the Zebras to either tie it or take the lead with a three-pointer. Carter gets around man. Good recovery there. P finds Strasser inside. Kicks it out. Clevenger thought about the three. The runner is blocked. Strasser gets the loose ball. Kicks it over to Bollinger up top. McCarter left wing three. She gets knocked down. No call. And the rebound to McDonald. McDonald goes coast to coast. And they're going to call her for the charge. Claire McDonald picking up the charging foul. Mia Hattishell getting back and getting in position for the Zebras. No uh, one and one there on the offensive foul for the Rochester Zebras. So Rochester gets the ball back. Around two minutes to go here in the first half. McCarter is trapped. And Coach Bowers gets a timeout, so minute 57 to go. A full timeout called by Coach Bowers. We'll take a break. Be back with more from Rochester High School. And just back here at Rochester High School, minute 57 to go in the first half of the JV contest. The Zebras have stormed back, trail it by two. They'll have the ball coming out of the timeout. 
Pilgrims had a eight point advantage, 15 7. And Rochester has scored the last six points and still have an opportunity here with a uh, shot to either tie or take the lead under two minutes left in the first half. Rochester gets it in, how to shell. Has it on the left wing. She gets trapped, gets it across to Clevenger, over to McCarter. McCarter kicks it down into the corner to Strasser. McCarter thought about a three. Good defense there by Hopple. Made her think otherwise. And that goes straight through the hands of Strasser out of bounds. So another turnover for the Zebras. 11th of the half for Rochester. Minute and a half left here in the first half. Plymouth looking to add to a two point advantage. Oh, the back door and how to shell read it and gets the turnover. Fourth of the quarter, ninth of the half for Plymouth. Three pointer off the mark and the rebound comes out to Krupp for the Pilgrims. Krupp goes around two Zebras. And they're going to get Clevenger coming in from behind with the personal. Her first. Only the third team foul on the Zebras here in the first half, so quite a ways to go before the Pil Pilgrims would be in the bonus. That shot is going to be tipped. So it will remain Pilgrim's ball here, baseline left. Man fouled on the shot. Shot is no good, but Riley Mann going to the free throw line, shooting two. And it's going to be on Bullinger, her second. Fourth team foul. Riley Mann at the free throw line for the first time here this afternoon. First free throw off the back iron. Sydney Lamb back in for Rochester. Liz Deerfield checking into the game. Both shots off the mark, but Johnson with the offensive glass and put back for Plymouth. And another turnover for the Zebras. Hopple shot off the mark. Mann gets the rebound. Her shot was tipped. Hopple fights through, gets the rebound, gets it back out to Mann. Over to Krupp. Her shot off the mark. Another offensive rebound. And that's going to put Liz Deerfield, who just checked into the game, at the free throw line. Shooting two, that foul was on Riley Clevenger, and that was her second foul. First shot off the front iron for Deerfield. Pilgrims one for five here in the first half from the free throw line, so they're not helping their cause a whole lot there with missed free throws, leaving some points on the board. And make that one for six. That shot by Deerfield off the mark, 0 for 2. And McCarter comes away with the rebound. Still just a four-point lead here for Plymouth with 22 seconds to go in the first half. McCarter elbow jumper no good. Rebound to the Pilgrims. And they're going to say last touch by Dara Strasser. So it will be the Pilgrim's ball. A little man-to-man -man full court pressure here by Rochester. Able to get it across to Hopple. Hopple brings it across the timeline. Her 15-footer off the mark. Rebound man. Her shot off the mark. And a second opportunity there was no good. At the buzzer. And that's going to do it here for us for the first half. The Plymouth Pilgrims lead 17-13 at the half. 
over the Rochester Zebras. We'll take a break, come back, give you some halftime stats, get ready for the second half of action here from Rochester High School on RTC TV4. Trail by four. It's going to be the Plymouth Pilgrims with the ball to start the second half. And the first shot of the half is off the mark, and Clevenger gets the rebound, kicks it ahead to McCarter. McCarter trying to get it into Strasser, and it's going to be a turnover. Then they're going to say that uh, that was off of Plymouth, so it will be Rochester with the ball. Carter off the mark, the weak side rebound to Krupp. Pilgrim is bringing across the timeline. Krupp kicks it over to McDonald. Krupp, McDonald, Gantz, Johnson, and Hopple, the five in for Plymouth to start the second half. Starters on the floor for the Zebras, Strasser, Bullinger, McCarter, Clevenger, and Hadeshell, and a double dribble called on Strasser. Krupp gets it over to Johnson. Johnson over to Hopple. Hopple gets through three zebras. Not able to finish, but the loose ball is corralled by Johnson. And it's going to be a foul on the zebras. I believe they're going to get Dara Strasser on her first. And that's going to put number 21, Kayla Johnson, at the free throw line. Her first trip to the free throw line here this evening. Hope everyone is staying warm at home. It is Indiana and it is January and it sure feels like it out there tonight. They said the temperature was gonna drop throughout the day and it sure did. Second one is no good for Johnson, but the loose ball and the turnover, Krupp comes away with it. And then the Pilgrims give it right back. So a couple turnovers there and a little full court pressure here by the Pilgrims. Out of shell gets it across, picks up her dribble, gets it over to McCarter. Had Strasser not able to get it to her backdoor cut, Clevenger. Good recovery there by Hopple. Out of shell. Trying to get it into Bullinger, and that's going to be tipped away there by McDonald. And another turnover for the Zebras, fourth here in the second half already. And that shot off the mark, but the offensive rebound for Johnson. And we got a foul coming here on the Zebras. And that's going to be the second quick foul by Strasser. She's picked up two here in about two and a half minutes of this third quarter. McDonald's shot is off the mark. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Gantz. It'll be Zebra's ball. Full court pressure here again by Plymouth. And that's going to pay off for the Pilgrims. The steal and the bucket for Gantz. And it's back up to a seven point lead for Plymouth. <laughs> Trying to get it into Bullinger. A foul is going to be called on Plymouth's number 21, Kayla Johnson, her second. Johnson, her second. 
Out of shell inbounds here on the left baseline. Gets it in to Clevenger. Strasser gets around two, and she's going to be fouled. That might be Johnson's third. And it is on Johnson, so that is three on her. Two team fouls on the Pilgrims here in the second half. Strasser thought about a three. Kicks it over. Clevenger three-pointer long. Rebound by McDonald. And the push up ahead, and Gantz good for two more. Nine-point lead for the Pilgrims, largest of the game for Plymouth. Rochester had it down to two. There is a steal, and McDonald puts it in for two more. Out of shell with McDonald on her, gets it over to Clevenger. Clevenger gets a screen from Bollinger. Bollinger slips the screen. And Bollinger is going to get fouled by Krupp, I believe. Emma Krupp, her first. And that's going to put Audrey Bollinger at the free throw line, shooting two free throws. Her first trip to the line here this evening. And the freshman good on the first. Lily Watson checks back into the game for Rochester. And number 32, Megan Overmeyer, checks into the game for the Pilgrims for the first time. Bullinger's second shot is no good. And into the paint and good. Two more for McDonald. Deerfield back into the game for Hopple. And Lexi Myers checking back into the game for Tinley Gantz. Zebras have the ball trailing by 12. Largest lead of the game for the Plymouth Pilgrims. 2.44 to go in the third quarter. Turnovers really mounting here. Six third quarter turnovers alone for Rochester. 17 so far unofficially for the game for the Zebras. Krupp gets called for her second, fourth team foul. Three-pointer, McCarter off the mark, rebound, fought for, Bullinger and Strasser kind of knocked it away from each other. The push up ahead, and the bucket is good. McDonald, she has 10-6 here in the quarter alone, and it is a 14-point advantage for the Pilgrims. Plymouth starting to run away with this one. Doubling up Rochester 28-14 here with just a little over two minutes to go in the third quarter. The Carter shot off the mark. Offensive rebound no good, but she's going to get fouled. Go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on number 32, Megan Overmeyer, her first. That's going to put Ella McCarter at the free throw line. Two for two from the free throw line here this evening. And makes that one. McCarter has three. Cuts the lead to 13. Second free throw up. And off the front iron, no good. Loose ball, and there's going to be a traveling called. So a turnover by the Plymouth Pilgrims. Only the third turnover here in the quarter for Plymouth. Gives the ball back to the Zebras. Carter, 15-footer, no good. And it's going to go out of bounds. 
Ball back over to the Pilgrims. That shot no good, but the offensive rebound by Krupp. Ball goes out of bounds. They're going to say it was last touch by the Zebras. Three-pointer off the mark for Krupp. Rebound to the Zebras. That was Watson grabbing that rebound for Rochester. Clevenger pulls up left wing, three off the mark, rebound to Krupp. Tipped out of bounds by McCarter. How does Shell and Lamb back into the game? Bollinger and I believe that was Watson. Yeah, Watson going to take a break. Coach Bowers was blocking my view there of uh, Lily. Drive to the basket is good. McDonald, she has eight in the quarter, 12 in the game. 15-point lead for the Pilgrims, largest of the game. Again, Plymouth has doubled up the Zebras 30-15. to 15. How to shell three pointer left wing is good. Todd said Clevenger. I'm pretty sure that was how to shell. I'm going to give it to how to shell. I think his view was blocked from that far side over there. Foul coming up on Rochester. I believe they're going to get Lamb for that one. And the first free throw for Krupp is good. Her first points of the evening. And Krupp good on both. And that is going to do it for the third quarter. After three here at Rochester, the Plymouth Pilgrims have opened up a 14-point advantage, 32-18. We'll take a break and come back for fourth quarter action here in just a moment on RTC TV4. So as we move into the fourth here, the Zebras... Got a big hole to dig themselves out of if they want to keep their unbeaten streak alive in four-quarter games, I guess you'd say. They did lose in uh, two quarters to the Argus Dragons last year, last calendar year. Seavers will have the ball here to start the fourth quarter. Hopple back into the game for Plymouth, and... Viger checks in for McCarter. Strasser tries to go baseline. Good defense that time by Gantz. And the steal and a turnover for the Zebras. Unofficially, I have Rochester with 18 turnovers here in this ball game. Good pass inside that shot off the mark by Miller. And Hadeshell gets the rebound, kicks it up ahead to Dara Strasser. And Strasser's pass is picked off by Gantz. Yeah. 
And they're going to call the foul on the floor before the shot. That will be the second on Sidney Lamb. Fourth team foul on the Zebras. Bollinger checking back into the game for Sidney Lamb. It's going to be the Pilgrims with the ball here, baseline right. A shot off the mark. The loose ball is going to be out of bounds off the Pilgrims. 6.06 to go, 32-18. Plymouth with the commanding lead here in the JV contest. 15-5 there in the third quarter. Really opened things up after it was a four-point game at the half. And a foul coming up on Hopple. Second, sixth team foul on the Pilgrims. So an opportunity here for Rochester to have a little bit of one in the bonus opportunities. If they can get it into, uh, into that territory. That was a uh, turnover there. Mann with a nice job on the defense. Steals the inbounds pass. And on the rebound, it's going to be a jump ball. It will remain Plymouth. McCarter going to check back into the game for the Zebras for Viger. And Rochester falls asleep on the inbounds, and Miller puts in an easy two. Like the only people that were ready for that inbounds were the Plymouth Pilgrims. And a steal. They're going to say Miller's foot was on the line. And returning to the court, court point, 42, Lexi Myers. Clevenger left wing shot off the mark and the rebound on the weak side. Myers comes away with it for the Pilgrims. Miller gets it out to Hopple, up to Mann. Mann with Bullinger on her. And another bucket by Gantz. Gantz has six points for the Pilgrims all here in the second half. And some full court pressure here by the Pilgrims. How to shell, gets it across to McCarter. McCarter with Miller on her. Good defense there by Miller. Clevenger hasn't scored here in the second half. They need her to get going if they're going to get back into this game. Going to have a foul coming up on number 12. Nope. They're going to call it on Riley Mann. But that is the 17 foul, so that's going to put Bollinger at the free throw line, shooting the one and the bonus. One for two from the free throw line is the freshman Audrey Bollinger. And puts in the first. So Bollinger earns a second free throw here. <laughs> and makes them both. Cuts it to a 16-point Plymouth lead. That one is tipped by Strasser, and McCarter comes up with the loose ball. Clevenger, three ball, left wing, good, Riley Clevenger. Back the other way, that three ball is off the mark and it's gonna sail out of bounds. Carter gets it across the timeline. Full court pressure again by the Pilgrims. Strasser, spin move, shot off the mark. Bullinger 
Offensive glass, no good. The rebound to Gantz. Nice move there by Strasser, just not able to finish. And Bollinger's offensive rebound opportunity does not go in. Strasser with the steal. And they're going to say last touch by Gantz. Zebras with 3.15 to go here in the ball game. Inbounding it, baseline left. How to shell, baseline three. Good. How to shell. Makes it a 10 point game. Zebras aren't completely out of this one yet. And McCarter steps into that passing lane, knocks it out of bounds. And Plymouth wants to take a timeout here. It's been a uh, good run for Rochester here in the fourth corner. Clevenger and Hadeshell with threes. And Bullinger has uh, two free throws. We'll take a quick break here and come back with more from Rochester High School in just a moment here on RTC TV4. So a late three in the third quarter for How to Shell, a fourth quarter three for How to Shell. Riley Clevenger has a three, two Bullinger free throws, and the Rochester Zebras backed within 10 here with 2.54 to go in the ball game. Pilgrims with the ball coming out of the timeout. I think Coach is too happy with the way the Pilgrims have. Uh, Close this fourth quarter out. And another missed shot and the rebound to Bollinger. Quickly up ahead to Strasser for two. Assist to Riley Clevenger. And some full court pressure here by the Zebras. Some questionable shots here in the fourth quarter by Plymouth as Really giving the Rochester Zebras some opportunities to get back into this one. It's an eight-point game with 2.15 to go. The Zebras are going to have to get up and get into the passing lane here and get a steal. They've only got four team fouls, so they're not going to be able to put the Pilgrims in the one in the bonus. Probably in time to do any good. That shot off the mark. Offensive glass. Man. Another offensive opportunity for Mann, and she's going to get fouled. Probably less of a foul on that second put back by Mann than there was on the first. But she's going to go to the free throw line. Foul called on Audrey Bullinger is her third. Riley Mann at the free throw line. Off on the first. She's 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Second free throw for Mann is good. One of two from the free throw line. Carter gets it up to Clevenger, and we got a timeout called by Coach Bowers. And it is a full timeout, so we'll take a break with them and be back here with more from Rochester High School. JV contest, minute 42 to go. The Plymouth Pilgrims lead 37-28 here on RTC TV. Back here at Rochester, minute 42 to go in the JV contest. It will be Rochester's ball coming out of the timeout called by Coach Bowers. They have battled their way back, trail by nine. The Plymouth Pilgrims led by as much as 18, I believe, maybe 19 at one point here in the second half. 14-point game at the end of the third quarter. Inbounds to Bullinger and one. Let's take another look at that. Great inbounds play drawn up by Coach Bowers. Second. 
And the free throw is good. Bollinger three-point play for the Zebras. And just like that, it is a six-point ball game. Still a minute 30 to go, so lots of time. And a foul on the backside by Riley Clevenger. That is her third, if I have my fouls correct. And that is the sixth team foul, so they will be able to put Plymouth into the bonus on the next foul. Pilgrims have not been uh, real stellar from the free throw line, so it might be an advantage if they can get them on the free throw line. And that is going to be a foul on McCarter. That is her first. And that's going to put number 12, Tinley Gantz, at the free throw line. Her first trip to the free throw line. She's got six points. Not been to the free throw line yet this evening for Plymouth. And off the back iron, and Strasser gets the rebound. Trying to cut into that six-point lead here with minute 16 to go. And a foul coming up, and that's going to put the Zebras at the free throw line for a one in the bonus. So Tinley Gantz picks up the foul. Dara Strasser to the free throw line with a one in the bonus. She is 0 for 1 from the free throw line. And gets the friendly roll. Cuts it back to a five-point lead. Gets another opportunity here with the bonus. Second free throw for the freshman. Strasser off the back iron, no good. And a timeout called by Plymouth. With a minute 12 to go, saves the possession. 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here, minute 12 to go. Rochester has battled back down and got the lead under or two five points with a minute 12 to go. Of course, the varsity contest coming up after the conclusion of the JV. Be the first action for both teams here in the 2022 calendar year. So Mann will inbound here on the near sideline for the Pilgrims with some full court pressure by Rochester. She's got to get it in, just barely gets it in in front of that five second count. Good pressure by Rochester. Plymouth able to get it across. Miller, and she's going to be fouled with a minute even to go here in the ballgame. That's going to be the fourth on Clevenger, and that's going to put number 14, Sophie Miller, at the free throw line for the one and the bonus, her first free throw trip of the evening. And she sinks the first. So Miller gets another opportunity here. Pushes the lead to six. Second free throw is up off the back iron. Offensive rebound, though, by number 42, Lexi Myers. And that's, uh, that's a killer there for the Zebras with a six-point deficit. Poked away from behind by McCarter. But it will remain Plymouth's ball. So they get what they need there. The Rochester Zebras, one of two from the free throw line, but they give up the offensive rebound on that second free throw. Get another opportunity, and there is a bucket by Miller on the cut from the inbounds. And that pushes it back up to eight. That's probably going to do it here for Rochester. Bullinger does put in two more.
Quickly ahead and one man with the foul. Free throw, no good. Boy, Rochester fell asleep there on that one. Good thing Bullinger was awake. And a turnover. The Zebras give it back. So, some opportunities lost here in the fourth quarter by Rochester. A turnover there, an offensive rebound on that free throw earlier. There's How to Shell gets it up ahead to Strasser. And Strasser is going to get fouled. Just seven seconds left to go here in the ballgame. Dara Strasser at the free throw line, shooting two, actually. Double bonus. Strasser at the line, shooting the double bonus. Dara one for three from the free throw line here this evening. Misses badly on the first. Second one here for Strasser. Off the back iron, no good. And that's probably going to do it here as the clock winds down to zeros. Final score of the JV contest, the Plymouth Pilgrims win it 42-34. At this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Senior, number 42, 
Claire Sheedy. average or better basketball uh, and there's not going to be an easy draw no matter how you look at that tournament but uh, first things first let's make sure we're taking advantage of these January games and and make sure we're playing our best basketball and as healthy as we can be heading into those games it'll be Delp and uh, Thomas to jump there it is the whistle blows and it's going to be tipped out of bounds they're saying it'll be zebra basketball to start the contest. Two seconds gone off the scoreboard. Scoreboard being brought to you tonight by Rochester Glass, locally owned and operated since 1956. That's Rochester Glass. Proud supporters of Zebra Athletics. Yep. Plymouth in a 1-3-1. Coach Jennings says they've been running this a lot this year. It's a new wrinkle for, uh, well, I'm going to call her Coach Box, but I know that's not her <laughs> yeah. merry name. I apologize. but uh, She's been Box longer, right? Yes, <laughs> right. Hawes for the three in the left corner. No good. Rebound comes away to the Zebras. Zebras with the first offensive rebound of the night. Now that's Watson with it. Top of the key now to Thomas. Thomas has it. So he's at left side now to Hawes. They try to go down low to Millie. Can't get it to her. Burke into the corner. Back up top to Hawes. Hawes. Dribbles back to the right side, looking, looking, loses the basketball, goes and gets it, picks it back up. Now off to Watson, tipped in the backfield. Picked up by Hunter. Hunter up to the shot and good for Plymouth. You know, this is a, a defense where, as we saw against North Miami, you don't want to just dribble and pass along the perimeter. You've got to attack that thing vertically and get to the baseline to beat it because the weakness of a 1-3-1 is along the baseline. But if you just dribble along the perimeter at the top, you're playing right into Plymouth's hands. Watson is... Double team. She gets it off to Thomas. Now to Burgett. Burgett down to Hawes in the corner. Trying to go down low to score zone. They can't get it to her. Coaching staff saying, hey, we got to hit the, the, the low post. Now they right. get it to Thomas at the block. Thomas, one dribble, kicks it back out to Watson. In the corner to Hawes. Three on the way for Sid. Off the front of the iron, no good. And the rebound comes away to Sheedy. Plymouth very aggressive in trapping. you got to move the ball with the pass quickly. You'll get wide open shots. If you hold it, again, you play right into their hands. Quickly down to Delp. First shot up and no good. A rebound now to Lexi Thomas. Thomas quickly up. Thomas. Down low. Two score zone. Her shot goes up. No good. Another rebound for Plymouth. Quickly do the Pilgrims run. They're going to try to go to Jones. And it's stolen now by the Zebras. Turnover number one on the Pilgrims. Here's Sid Hawes. Sid in the corner, down low now to score zone. Her shot goes up, no good. And they're going to say partially blocked. And another rebound for Plymouth. Plymouth looking to push. Hunter with the basketball, down low to Sheedy. Sheedy throws it back out to Ellie Jones. Ellie Jones swings it back up top. Now Plymouth will reset. Plymouth not nearly the three-point shooting team that the Zebras are. They've taken about half of the attempts and, and not shot nearly as well. Zebras shooting about 30% from the three-point line. Plymouth only 25. Lena Jones dribbles in, throws it down low to Delp. Delp up off the glass. Good. But when you have a strong inside game like that, you don't really need to shoot a lot of threes. Burkett around the defense. Goes to the hole. Throws it back out for Hawes. Three on the way for Sid. Good this time. 
Four to three now. Plymouth on top on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 520 to go here in the first. Quickly up is Hunter. Hunter with the basketball left side. She'll try a three ball on the way short. And the rebound comes away to Plymouth. And down low. That is yeah. Ellie Jones, and she's going to be calling for a three-second call. Referees will let you kind of hang out if you're trying to make a move, but if you pass the ball and you stand still, they're probably not going to give you that extra second. 5.06 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras trail by one, 4-3 to three on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Burgett to Thomas. Thomas will take a couple dribbles and throw it up to Hawes. Hawes goes over the, tries to go over the top to Millie's score zone and can't do so, and it's a turnover. Hunter with the basketball. Hunter into Delp. Delp is triple teamed in the paint, and we're going to have either a jump ball. Nope. we had, be a foul. We had, yep. Yep. Foul's coming on a Burkett. This is a defense where you're going to want to fake high and go low. Like the Plymouth defenders are coming at you with their hands up. You're not going to have a lot of success throwing over the top of those hands. You've got to fake it and then get back to that bounce pass. Into Delp. Delp goes up with a shot. No good. Last touch by Plymouth. It'll go back to the Zebras with 4.47 to go here in the opening quarter. 4-3 Plymouth. Randy went, Tony stays there. Guys could join us. And a little miscommunication there between Thomas and Burkett. And Thomas throws it out of bounds. It'll go back to Plymouth. But it'll be baseline right because nobody touched it. Right. Got to get a little more organized press break. Um, get some more options than, than one person because it's easier for Plymouth to guard one, one person. They try to bring it into Sheedy, and the Zebras will deflect it out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth. Inbounding the ball is Lena Jones for the Pilgrims. They get it into Hunter. Hunter in the corner, three on the way. Good. Wide open shot. Nobody contested her. And she makes some pay, and it's seven to three. All right. This is uh, kind of like a one diamond press or anything. You got to get somebody here in the middle and then get the ball opposite against this press. It's a diamond press, a one, two, one, one. It's pretty common. But if you don't get people in the right spots to get the ball to the middle, it can be dangerous. Burkett dribbles out of it. She takes it down low. Now kicks it back out to Hawes. Hawes with the basketball. Back to Burkett. She'll fire a three ball left wing. No good. Rebound comes down to Plummet. Delp with the basketball. Delp now gives off to Lena Jones. Jones has it. Right side now to Ellie Jones. Back up Tom now to Lena. Lena runs the point. She goes down to Delp in the elbow. Kicks it back out and tipped by Burkett. Now here's Hunter. Three left side. Goes way high. Bur or Hawes comes away with the rebound. Quickly up is Watson. She'll fire a three from the left wing. Way off the mark. And Plymouth with another rebound. Plymouth looks to run. That is uh, Ellie Jones. Elena Jones turns around. Jumper up. Good. 9-3 to three now. Plymouth on top with 3.40 to go here in the first. Thomas picks up her dribble. She's got to do something with it. And Coach Jennings will bail her out with a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here and tell you all about our fine sponsors. Kelligan of Fulton County, Better Water, Pure and Simple. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County, best one tire. The most important person to them is you. RTC Communications. Phone, cable, and internet. Shepherd Chevrolet, Buick, GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. Fulton County, RMC, making a better tomorrow since 1936. All proud supporters of Zebra basketball all season long. Randy Wayne, Tony Stasiak here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. And once again, kind of like the North Miami game, we yeah. see turnovers in the backcourt and, and giving Plymouth easy opportunities to score. Yeah, we haven't seen them ourselves since then, but you'd hope some of those issues, because that was really their downfall, just could not handle the North Miami pressure. <coughs> guessing Plymouth saw that they kind of run this stuff anyways but you know the Lady Zebras got to solve this pressure and they're having trouble getting in, into any kind of offense and there that'll we go. help try to get it to the middle and score a zone and Delp right. comes over the top and a foul coming on against Plymouth any kind of zone trap any kind of thing like this you got to get the ball to the middle and then reverse it to break it Burkett will bring it across the timeline they'll go down low to Millie Millie too far underneath. She kicks it back out to Watson in the right corner. To Burkett. Burkett. Back to Watson. Trying to go down low. Now they can swing it over the top to Riley Holloway, who checked into the contest in the timeout. Dealt with a blocked shot against Thomas. Here goes the Pilgrims. Lena Jones with the basketball. Over to Ellie Jones. Back up top to Lena. Lena has it. Zebra's in that 2-3 zone. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Holloway. It'll stay with Plymouth. Checking into the contest will be Kennedy Jackson for Millie Scorzone. 
3-0-3 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 9-3, Zebras trail by six. They get it into Hunter. She swings it left side now to Lena Jones. Lena coming back to the near side now to Ellie. Ellie with the basketball. Top to Sheedy. Sheedy swings it left side to Hunter. She'll give it back to Lena. Lena Jones with the basketball against Watson. Goes left side now to Sheedy. Cross court pass now to Hunter. Hunter puts it on the floor. Goes up. Partially deflected. Picks back up is Sheedy. Or excuse me, that's Hunter. Hunter down low. Kicks it back out. Here's Jones, three on the way, top of the key. No good, and Zebras come away with the rebound. Kennedy Jackson. Jackson will go coast to coast. Push off, and yep, there's the call. Kennedy Jackson with that, should as she lower that other arm. Yeah, but we've said this yeah. before. Like yeah. Kennedy Jackson is not <laughs> an easy player to officiate. Now, that was one. I don't, she, the angle. She's, probably. A, she's strong, yeah. so she never gets the benefit of the call. And then B, I, that player was slide. You can't establish position. I think she was sliding. I don't know. It's a good official, uh, but I, I think Kennedy got the short end of the call on that one. Dragney and Mann check into the contest for Plymouth. Dragney with it now. Comes up top. Back to Dragney in the right wing. Back up top now to Jones. Jones holds to Mann. Back to Jones. Down low to Sheedy. And it's thrown out of bounds. Turnover number three on the Lady Pilgrims. 2.03 to go here in the first. Still a six-point contest. Plymouth up 9-3. Plymouth back in that 1-3-1. One, one. And now you're going to get a foul as Burkett tries to split the defenders, and they reach in and try to swap the ball away. Well, I don't know if you want to make a living attacking the 1-3-1 one, one that way, but occasionally if the traps aren't that good, you, you do have a seam you can get through. Minute 58 to go here in the first. Watson will inbound right in front of the scoring table. Gets it into Burkett. Burkett in the backcourt. Now she'll cross the timeline. Burkett attacks, kicks in the corner to Watson. She's trying to go down low to, to uh, Thomas. Can't get it to her. Gets it to Jackson. She goes up for a layup. No good. Rebound Plymouth. Plymouth pushes. Quickly ahead to Dragon. Dragney with a shot. Partially blocked. Picked up by the Zebras. Kennedy Jackson will let things clear out. Now she'll bring it across the timeline. Kennedy to Burkett. Now down in the corner to Watson. Watson takes a three. Goes to Kennedy Jackson. Down low to Thomas. Wide open. Good. There you go. Good things happen when you get the ball to the middle. Nine to five with a minute 15 to go here in the first. Quickly up are the Pilgrims. Lena Jones with it. Lena Jones has it kicked by Watson. And it will be out of bounds to Plymouth on the far side. Nine to five with just a minute 14 to go here in the first. Felt like longer than that. <laughs> Four-minute scoring drive, according to Val, finally broke by the Lady Zebras with the basket by Thomas. Plymouth with the basketball. Now to Sheedy in the corner. Sheedy looking. Cross-court pass goes over to Mann. Mann, three ball on the way. No good. Rebound, Thomas. Lexi Thomas with a rebound to Watson. To scores, uh, or excuse me, to Kennedy. Kennedy kicks it back out. Here's Riley Holloway for three. Good. Yep. Coach Jennings mentioned he'd like to see Riley Holloway get going from outside, and that's a good start. Good, good kick out, and you know, again, inside out. Went inside and then kicked it across court. And good shot by Riley Holloway. Zebra's now down by one, nine to eight. Plymouth with the basketball. Goes down to Delp. Delp has it knocked loose, and it'll stay with Plymouth. And as the last touch was Holloway, and it'll be into the corner now for Plymouth. I'd be curious to think what both coaches are thinking right now. Yeah. I mean, defensively, I think you let the other team shoot as many threes as they want. Offensively, I'm not sure you necessarily want your team to take as many of those threes. <laughs> so, 20 seconds remain. Here's a three on the way by Mann again. In and out, no good. Rebound comes away to Burkett. Burkett with the rebound. 12 seconds to go. Burkett with the basketball to 10. Burkett to Watson with seven. Watson holds. Watson has it. Now to Holloway with four. Four, three. Watson will fire at the buzzer. No good. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. At the end of one, it's Rochester eight. The Pilgrims nine on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Back in the second quarter after this, you're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School as we get ready to start the second quarter. Zebras trail by one, 98. It'll be Plymouth basketball to start the second. On the floor for the Zebras, it'll be Watson, Holloway, Jackson, Thomas, and Burkett. 
We'll set Plymouth for you here in a moment. Right now it's Jones and Jones. Both Jones is back in. Hunter back to Sheedy. Sheedy with the basketball. Kicks it out to Hunter. Hunter, top of the key, stolen by Holloway. That's a Holloway great read. With the steal and the layup, uh -huh. no good. Rebound comes back away to Plymouth. Plymouth with the basketball. Quickly ahead. Jones with it. Ellie Jones. Jones to the top of the key. Three ball on the way. Two. Oh, two. Foot was on the line. Two for Plymouth. Ellie Jones. And it's 11-8. Back to a three-point lead. Apologize for the static there. Trying to figure out what's causing it. Does Zebra have the basketball? Ball is still loose. And they're going to say it'll be Zebra basketball as Hunter with the steal was on the uh, out-of-bounds line. Lily Eaton will come in, and sitting down will be Burkett. 7 14 to go here in the opening or opening half. Watson with the basketball. Jackson. Jackson, turn around. Layup up. No good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. Tenth rebound for Plymouth here in the first half. Seven minutes to go. 11 to 8. Down low to Sheedy. Nice job by defensive job by Thomas. Knocks it away and gets the steal. Quickly ahead to Watson. Watson with the basketball. Zebras had a five on four and couldn't take yeah. advantage of it. You know, when the post player is down underneath the other bucket, slow getting back, that's when you want to kind of push tempo because you had an advantage and now you don't. 34, Sophie Miller into the contest for Plymouth. Holloway with the basketball. Holloway to Thomas. Thomas steps out and resets the Zebra offense. Top of the key is Watson. Watson, a little pressure put on by Lena Jones. Ball's knocked loose, stolen by Jones. Here goes Jones, up no good. Rebound comes away to Thomas. Thomas with the basketball to Watson. Watson quickly ahead, goes down low to Jackson. Kennedy has it, knocked loose, kicks it back out to Holloway in the corner. To Watson, down low to Jackson. Kennedy goes up, and off the glass, good. Good, good play that time. Didn't have yeah. it quite right. She kicked it out. They brought it back to her. She got her feet set right up off the glass. 11 to 10 now. Zebras trail by one. Hunter with the basketball. Now it goes to Sheedy, top the key. They go down inside to Miller. Miller's turnaround jumper, no good. And it's saved from going out of bounds, but right into the hands of Plymouth. Here's Hunter, good. You, you know, you like the, the effort. Yeah by Eaton, but if you're going to save it underneath the opponent's basket, you better throw it farther than that. Or make sure you got a wide-open zebra to throw to. Correct. There's Holloway at the other end. Up, no good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. Plymouth will push. Here is Lena Jones. Quickly ahead to Ellie. Ellie back to Lena. Lena with the basketball. Now it goes to Miller. Miller swings it left side to Hunter. Hunter down low. Stolen by Thomas. Or excuse me, by Jackson. Another turnover. Holloway throws up a shot, no good. Saved from going out of bounds by Thomas. Another shot up, no good. And another rebound for the Plymouth Pilgrims. Lena Jones will reset. She'll go to Sheedy. Sheedy has it, 4.45 to go here in the second. 13-10, to 10, a three-point Plymouth lead. That's Miller with it. Miller comes near side, now to Jones. Jones, Ellie Jones, top of the key to Sheedy. Down low to, to Miller. Miller has it stripped, picks up her own shot, picked up by Thomas. Thomas with a loose basketball. Thomas up to the glass, good. Lexi Thomas, good hey. job. Take it coast to coast, you had it. And a timeout by Plymouth, a full timeout with 4.20 to go here in the first half. It's 13 to 12, Plymouth on top of the Zebras. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. As we right. come out of the Plymouth timeout, Zebras trail by one, 13 to 12 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard with 4.20 to go here to, in the first half. Plymouth has the basketball. Lena Jones brings it across the timeline. Jones guarded in that, and down low to, uh, down low to nice Delp. Nice recovery. Yeah, blocked and picked up by the Zebras. Zebras with the rebound, quickly down the floor, score zone. Eaton, Eaton, penetrates, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Jackson, and they're going to call a jump ball, and it'll stay with the Zebras. Big girl basketball tonight. The officials have established they're not going to bail you out. A lot of times girls go in, and they think if there's any contact, they're going to foul. These officials say, hey, we're not going to bail you out. If you're not under control, 
you know, we're not going to call just because there's a certain contact that there's necessarily a foul. Inbounds comes to Jackson. Jackson step back two-pointer, and it's the Zebras' first lead of the contest, 14-13. It's Jackson score zone, Hawes, Eaton, and Holloway for the Zebras. Lena Jones with the basketball. Jones throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Rochester, but she steps out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth. And we have a substitution in Sheedy for the Plymouth Lady Pilgrims. 3.36 to go here before halftime. So double post matchup now with Sheedy and Delpin for the Pilgrims in score zone and Jackson. See if both teams make a concerted effort to get the ball inside. Into Hunter, and she's going to be fouled going up for the easy shot as Sid Hawes got caught watching. Out of bounds plays a lot of time. That's not the time to rest and relax. A lot of players think, hey, that's time to take it easy, but you hate to give up layups. Uh, or even fouls under the basket just because you weren't ready to play. Her first only the team third, and Hunter has a free throw. The first one's good. She'll get another one. Hopefully it doesn't come down to this, but Plymouth much better from the free throw line than Lady Zebras. Lady Zebras, 52% on the year. Lady Pilgrim, 63. First one's good. Our second one's also good. Back to a one-point Plymouth lead, 15-14. Three and a half to go before halftime. Jackson with the basketball. Jackson top of the key. Jackson to Hawes, left wing. Hawes dribbles back to the other side. Hawes pick up her dribble. She's got to do something with it and finds Eaton. Eaton has it. Eaton penetrates, kicks it back out, and Eaton's going to be fouled on the pass. It'll be out of bounds as that's only the team third for Plymouth. Yep, foul's going to be on 12. Ellie Jones, her first. Team's third. You know, on those ball screens, Plymouth with a hard show, almost a switch, although they end up rotating back. If, if you're going to run that, uh, Sid Hawes has got to look for the roll yeah. because Sheedy came out and picked up Sid, which left the guard on Kennedy. You can hit that pick and roll all day long. Bergen Thomas back into the contest. Jackson and Eaton sit down. Hawes in the score zone, up off the glass. Good. Now that was the good use of the lob pass because Millie had inside position. 16-15. Zebras back on top by one with three to go here before halftime. Lena Jones with the basketball. Has it knocked loose out of bounds by Holloway. Good hands by Riley Holloway to knock that one. Plymouth will reset. Ellie Jones into Lena. 16-15. Zebras on top. Lena has the basketball. Jones to the left side. Jones picks up her dribble. She'll bring it back to the right side now to Ellie. Ellie has it back to Lena. Top of the key. The left side now to Hunter. Hunter with the basketball. Putting pressure on. They almost got the stolen pass. Lena with Ellie with it. Back to Lena. Lena Jones with the basketball top of the keys. He was in that 2-3, but they extended out. They try to go into Delp. Knocked loose by the Zebras. Turnover number eight for the Plymouth Programs. Thomas at the elbow. Puts it on the floor. Goes to the hole. Partially blocked. Picked back up by the Zebras. Three on the way for Holloway. No good. Rebound. Fought four, and Plymouth comes away with it. Top of the key. Now to Jones. Back to Lena Jones. Jones has the basketball. Left side. Now back up top to Lennon. She'll reset with under two to go here before halftime. Ellie Jones with the basketball. Top of the key to Lennon. Swings it left side to Hunter. They're running Sheedy baseline trying to get her open. They can't get there. Lena with the basketball. Lena top of the key. Drives in. Tries to leave it down low for Sheedy. She's quickly double teamed. Nice move to the hole. Up and good. Claire Sheedy's got two, and it's 17-16. Plymouth now back on top by one. Burgett with the basketball. Triples in, throws up a shot. No good. And the rebound comes away, and it's going to be tied up. It'll stay with Plymouth. Jackson back into the Zebra lineup, also coming in. 24. Dranani in for the contest for Plymouth. Zebra's going to put a little pressure on in the backcourt. There's Holloway and Burkett picking them up. Minute 25 to go before halftime. Hunter gets it into Delp at the half court. Delp, a couple dribbles, and she'll turn around and reset it now and give it off to the guard in Linda Jones. Jones comes to the near side to Granati. Left side. Holds top of the key. Back to Three on the way. Short off the front of the iron. Delp gets the rebound and goes back up, and she's going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Going to give that one to Jackson. Could have been a flip of the coin. Yeah. Pause and Jackson are both in the vicinity. 
Free throw is coming for the Plymouth Pilgrims with a minute seven to go. Delp at the line. Free throw on the way. Hard off the back of the iron, no good. Jackson, Watson in for, excuse me, score zone in for Jackson. Watson in for Hawes. Zebra's doing a good job. Delp came into the game averaging 17 points yep. a game, and that's just, uh, you know, she's only got two so far, and that was early in the first quarter. Delp looking for a free throw here. Missed the first one, second one. Uh, off again. Rebound goes to Thomas. Burkett will push. Burkett with the basketball on the left side. To Holloway in the corner. Holloway against Hunter. Has it stolen. Turnover on the Zebras. And then another turnover on Plymouth. And the Zebras tip it from behind. Picked up by Thomas. Burkett with the basketball. 45 seconds to go here before halftime. Still 17-16. Kick it back out to Holloway. Three on the way for Riley. Good. Second three. Nice kick out pass by Millie Scores own. Way to be unselfish. I thought she had a good post move, but, you know, she made the extra pass for a wide-open shooter. 19-17. 30 seconds remain. Plymouth with the basketball. Down low to Sheedy. Sheedy to wide-open Hunter. Good. Tied at 19. 15 seconds to go before halftime. Zebras will look for the last shot. Hunter's got 11 of Plymouth's 19. Top is Holloway. Swings it left side, now to Watson, down low to Thomas. Thomas has it stripped, picks it back up to Holloway. Holloway, three at the buzzer, no good, and that's going to do it. At halftime, we are knotted at 19 here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Halftime show going to be brought to you tonight by One-Eyed Jacks. We'll have that for you when we come back. Tony will have stats, and we'll talk about the week ahead as well. Again, at halftime on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. 1919 Giant FM Sports at RTC TV for here in January with the Whitco Wildcats. If you can join Jake Ruffin. Triple header. Triple header again. C okay. team at five. JV at 615 and then the varsity following. So yeah. First turnover of the second half belongs to the Zebras as Lexi Thomas called for traveling. Zebras. You don't, you don't like those. That's kind of an unforced turnover, yeah. right? That that not a lot of pressure on her, but um, yeah. Zebras have Thomas, Burkett, Watson, score zone, and Hall's the original five. Here's Hunter for three from the left wing. No good. Three is rebounded by Lexi, or excuse me, by Cammy Burkett. Nice rebound. Yeah. And a foul coming on Plymouth. First on Sheedy. Uh, that's, like I said, sometimes that you know, old saying is water kind of finds its level. If you're a four and a half point per game scorer and you get 11 in the first half, sometimes it's like, hey, right? She comes off and shoots at three and missed it so maybe you know that's why i said you don't always have to overreact to, to a hot shooter once in a while uh play good solid defense on their two main scorers they're probably going to try to get the ball to sheedy and delp in the second half 30 seconds gone by still 19 19 halls will inbound after the kick basketball by the pilgrims into the backcourt to burkett burkett brings it across the timeline burkett then his double team she's going to have to get rid of it she finally does to thomas thomas in the corner to watson over the top back to watson now over to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball. Three on the way for Haas. No good. Rebound comes away to. And it's still battling around. It comes away to Watson. And Watson then throws it away. Plymouth with the basketball. Hunter down low. Now off to Ellie Jones. Jones shots blocked. Rebound. Millie scores own. Quickly hit to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball. Burkett dribbles back out. Now kicks it off to Watson. Down low to Thomas. Thomas. To score zone at the elbow. No good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. Rebound number 15 for the Plymouth Pilgrims defensively. Millie just looks rushed. Yeah. Uh, some of that's coming back from the illness. That game speed's a little different. You know, you've been out. You've been sick. Uh, don't maybe have all your strength or stamina, but all her shots, posts, and jumpers just seem rushed tonight. Zebra, or excuse me. Plymouth with a basketball. That is Delp. Delp against Burkett. Delp turns to the right side. Now kicks it back up top to Lena Jones. Jones, just outside the volleyball line, resets the offense, goes over to Ellie Jones, back to Lena, left side now to Hunter. Down low to Sheedy, and Sheedy travels. Turnover number 10 against the Plymouth Pilgrims. 6-17 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Still tied 19-19 with almost two minutes to go. That's where we were at halftime. Neither team with a bucket yet. Burkett with the basketball. Burkett got, almost got away with a double dribble. She goes left side. Green down and over to score zone. Score zone, turns around, yep. throws a shot up. She's going to be fouled. And it'll 
be Millie at the line shooting two. Zebra's first trip tonight. Second foul on Sheedy, so two quick ones there. Uh, yeah, as you said, first trip to the line. Uh, Millie scores own. Has the first one, and it is good. Breaks the tie, 20 to 19. Jackson will come in for her at the next opportunity. 34, Sophie Miller comes in for Sheedy. 20 to 19, Zebras. Make it 21 as both free throws are good. And Jackson in, scores own, sits down. 21-19, Zebras with six minutes to go here in the third. Quickly ahead to Hunter. Hunter goes down low right away to Miller. Miller turns around, kicks it back out, and safe from going out of bounds, but right into the hands of Burkett. Burkett has it to Hawes. Hawes, cross-court pass to Watson. Hurt three on the way, short, and the rebound comes away to Hunter. Hunter has it tipped away, and it's going to be finally it. picked up by Hawes. Turnover and a rebound for Plymouth. Zebras with the basketball. There's Jackson down low against Delp. Turnaround jumper up, no good. And the ball is fought for and last touched by Plymouth. Nice job by Lexi Thomas falling out of bounds. Throws it off at Delp. Good hustle play, and that's what I like to see. You know, they've got Lexi Thomas has been playing it on the perimeter, but she does her best work inside, and it's those kinds of hustle plays that she can make and like to see her get back on the block and attack this 1-3-1 with her down low. Uh, again, overloaded on the baseline. That's where they're going to struggle with in this 1-3-1. Dragonani in the contest for Plymouth. Three on the way for Watson. No good. Hawes with another rebound. To Thomas. Thomas then is fouled, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. And if it's on Delp, I think it is. Yeah. The Zebras are doing a great job trying to get the post in foul trouble right. here in this third quarter. Two she, on Delp. And that's the same thing. She had three blocks in the first half. The referees kind of let her play, so she's going to try to jump the block all those shots. You still want to go strong and... You know, mix in a few shot fakes, but, you know, go strong. Don't let that necessarily deter you. Thomas, first free throw, good. She'll have another one. 5-17 to go here in the third, 22-19. Now Zebra's with the biggest lead of the contest for them. If you're going to get to the free throw line, you got to cash in on those opportunities, and so far the Liddy Zebras have. Four for four here in just this third quarter alone. It's oh. not just a good meal at yeah. Wendy's. It's, uh, it's a good free throw percentage. <laughs> 23-19. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Both ways. Plymouth with the basketball now. There's still people sitting going, what? Yeah. They didn't. They had to listen to both of us, not one of us, right? <laughs> Delp with the basketball goes up. It's going to be last touch by Burkett. Nice job by Burkett playing defense on Delp. Yep. As she came from yep. that back side and was able to kind of tip it out of bounds. Walled up, just didn't slap. You know, Jackson walled up, too. You know, Don't try to jump with these post players. Just get your hands up and make them shoot over you. They get the ball inbounds and quickly to Miller. Miller at the elbow gets the friendly bounce, and she has two more. 23-21 now. Zebra's on top by two. Miller had a good JV game off the bench here to help a varsity. 4.45 to go. Burkett with a wide open layup. Up and good. Great take by Burkett. A little miscommunication yeah. on the Plymouth defense, and she made him pay. You might say a parting of the Red Seas on that <laughs> drive. <laughs> Down to the other end, that's Plymouth with a shot up. No good. Here's Ta or Jackson with a rebound. Jackson, coast to coast, kicks it out to Watson. Three on the way. Way off the mark. No good. Oh, yeah. And Thomas going to be called for over the back. Nice block out by Plymouth. Thomas, I like the aggression, yeah. but uh, you, you got to kind of be smart. But it's yeah. only her first. It's also so. one of those. I'm not sure she made contact, but it looks awkward yeah. enough. Everybody's going to call that one. It's only her first team first of the half. So. But when you manage your fouls and you don't have a foul, you can make those aggressive plays. Miller gets it into Drenati. Drenati has it. It's almost stolen. Picked back up by Sophie Miller. Miller, elbow jumper, good. Quick four points off the bench for the JV player. 25-23 now. Zebra's up still by two. Riley Holloway getting ready to check in at the next opportunity for the Zebras. Burkett with the basketball. Top of the key goes left side. Burkett now to Watson. Watson picked up by Lena Jones. They go down to Thomas. And Thomas is going to be fouled. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Fouls on Ellie Jones for second. Team's third. Riley Holloway checks in with 3.52 Fourth, I don't know. Okay, four. Sure, whatever they say, right? Might have missed one. Holloway comes in. Sid Hawes gets a nice break. 
25-23 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebra's up by two. Burkett gets it in, throws it over the top to Jackson. Go Jackson, strong. one dribble. Up, there you good go. to foul. Yes. Good, strong move, and as always, good things happen when you use the glass. And that's going to be foul number three on Delp. And team's fifth. Hunter in, and sitting down will be Ellie Jones. That's that's the key to victory here tonight is to score within five feet, be aggressive inside five feet, attack that defense, and get those post players in foul trouble and get to the free throw line. Jackson misses the free throw, but Zebra's still up by four now. In the backcourt, it's Miller. Miller gives it off to Jones. Lena Jones with the basketball. Lena Jones then almost travels. She's got to let it go. Picked up by Hunter. Jones penetrates to Miller. She has it stolen. Another turnover on the Pilgrims. To Jackson, to Holloway. Holloway up on the glass, no good. Never got to the glass as it partially blocked. Quickly out for Plymouth. Plymouth into the corner. Bernardi tries to go down low, and it's tipped by Thomas, but picked back up by Dr- Dragnati. You know, even though they're not getting a ton of turnovers, a lot of deflections by the Lady Zebras tonight. That, that's good to see. You're frustrating with Plymouth offense. 27 23, two for Miller. She's got the last six for. The Plymouth Pilgrims, and we got an official timeout for a shoe for Cammy Burkett. Well, you know, you saw this, right? In, in the Logansport tournament, Lily Eaton comes off the bench and yeah. hits some threes, uh, kind of an unknown sort of entity. And now uh, Sophie Miller comes off the bench and hits three jumpers. got to, you know, I still think you're better off there than, than yeah. not getting them in depth, but you got to make those adjustments because those shots are coming within 10 feet. Those should not be open jumpers. It's one thing if you let somebody shoot from – from 20 feet, but uh, shouldn't have a lot of uncontested jumpers from inside 10 feet. Eaton in. Watson sits down. Eaton with the basketball now in the corner to Holloway. Eaton has it left wing. Brings it down to the near side. Back to Burkett. Burkett to Eaton. Top the key. Three guards for the Zebras now with Burkett, Eaton, and Holloway. Burkett on the corner. Down low to Thomas. Thomas goes up. Blocked by Delp. Rebound. His last touch by Lexi Thomas. It'll stay with the Zebras. I think you're giving it to Plymouth. Well, yep, okay, they did. They gave it to Plymouth. 27-25. Plymouth with the basketball. Hunter has it on the backcourt. Zebra's trying to put a little man pressure on. They get it over the top to Lena Jones. Lena Jones drives down, kicked it loose, and it's going to be Plymouth basketball. Last touch by Riley Holloway. Help Two. the help by Holloway there. Jackson had to kind of come up to stop the drive, and Holloway kind of peeled off and covered uh, Miller to help Jackson out. 2.25 to go. Hunter goes in, but she forgot to put the ball on the floor. Turnover, Plymouth. Five turnovers this quarter for Plymouth. Yeah, the Lady Zebra's defense, pretty good, right? Pretty solid, pretty active. They're looking for deflections, steals, taking a, doing a pretty good job of taking care of the boards. I don't think Plymouth has offensive rebound this quarter, uh, and not many for the game. So no, Three for the game. Yeah, defensively, the Zebras are right there. Jackson with the basketball at the elbow. Jackson kicks it out to Burkett. Her three ball on the way. Good. Cammy Burkett gives the Zebras a five-point lead. 30-25 with two to go in here in the third. Quickly down to Delp to Miller. Miller up no good, but a foul coming. And Sophie Miller will go to the opportunity to free throw line for eight straight points for her and the Plymouth Pilgrims. Well, you just got to... Jackson's just kind of wandered a little too far off for too many times, and, and she's a smart player and just getting to open spots in, in the defense, and Plymouth needed every one of her points so far to this, this quarter. She misses the free throw. She'll have another opportunity. Coming in is score zone. Coming out is Jackson. Also in for Plymouth will be 21, Maddie Mann, and sitting down will be Sarah Hunter. Here. Here's something for you. Miller has seven points on the year. <laughs> seven points on the year so far, and she's got seven now. She make that? Yeah, she made that one. Yeah, so she has as many points in this quarter as she scored in the entire year so far. 30-26. Zebra's up by four. Under two to go here in the third. They go down low to score zone. Score zone to Jackson, or excuse me, to Thomas. Thomas too far underneath yeah. the basket, picked up by Just got to be aware of where you're at. If you don't have the shot, you got to be a good teammate and pass that out. Into the corner, man, three on the way for Plymouth. Good. It's 29-30. Zebra's on top by one now. 90 They're, seconds here in the third. All these points so far for Plymouth this quarter have been scored by bench players. Well, there's only two of them because, yeah. you know, Miller's done most of it, but man came off the bench too. Thomas with the basketball. 
Now it's Eaton. Eaton has it to Burgett. Burgett right wing. Burgett has it with a minute 10. Tries to go to Thomas. Stolen. Another turnover by the Zebras. Quickly ahead. Plymouth. Layup up. No good. But a foul coming on a Burkett. Plymouth will go to the line to shoot two. And again, a bench player and Maddie yeah. Mann. Right now, most of the, the Zebras' offensive problems are they're just studying too much. The ball's sticking. Like they're, they're, they're staying and they're waiting, waiting, and then passing. Rather than, hey, there's an open white shirt. I'm going to get them the ball. They're waiting too long, and it's just giving Plymouth the chance to read those passes and get those steals and deflections. Free throw by Mann is no good. She has an opportunity here for one more and to try to tie this contest. 65 seconds remaining here in the third. Rainy Wayne, Tony Stasiak. Zebra basketball. Jen, glad you could join us here this evening. Free throw's good. We're tied at 30. And it's also sticking in that we're taking tough shots, like Thomas underneath. And you're, yeah, it's not your shot. Pass it and move it to somebody else, right? Just, just move the basketball. Let's get a great shot. We don't have to force anything. 58 seconds remain here in the third. Eaton with it to Thomas. Thomas kicks it back up top to Holloway. Three on the way. In and out, no good. Scores on with the rebound. Throws it up, no good. And the rebound comes away to Delp. Delp has it. Quickly ahead, and now they'll bring it across the timeline. 40 seconds to go for Plymouth. Lena Jones with the basketball on the right side. Jones to Miller. Miller holds, kicks it back out. Now they go back over to the right side to Jones. Lena Jones with the basketball. Jones with 23 seconds. Try to go to Miller. Knocked loose. Ball's loose. Picked up by Plymouth. Jones has a deflection by Cammy. Stolen by the Zebras. Holloway with the basketball in 10 seconds. Holloway to Thomas at the elbow. Thomas with seven. Goes to the hole. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. Plymouth has it with two. Delp half quarter at the buzzer. No good off the back of the iron. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Still tied at 30 this time as we head to the fourth quarter here on Rochester High School, here at Rochester High School on RTZ TV4 and Giant FM. High School as we head to the fourth quarter, we're knotted at 30. It'll be Plymouth basketball to start the fourth quarter. At the end of one, Zebras trail by one, nine to eight. Halftime, we were knotted at 19, and now at the end of three, we're still knotted at 30 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. High school basketball coming back your way on a Friday night here at Rochester High School. The guys are in action at TRC with Whitco. Then Saturday afternoon, the girls will travel to Whitco to take on the Wildcats. And then Saturday night, we're back here with the boys as they take on Oregon Davis. Plymouth with the basketball. There's Miller. Miller's feeling it. Throws up a shot. No good. Delp with an offensive rebound up and good. Yeah, she's too good of a player to be quiet for too long, and she just determined she was going to out-rebound the Lady Zebras. you got to make sure you know where she's at on every time a shot's up. Plymouth now with a two-point lead, 32-30. to 30. 30 seconds gone by here in the fourth. They go down low to Thomas. Tipped away. Stolen by Plymouth. Quickly ahead to Lena Jones. Jones. It's a man, three, good again. That's her second three of the half off the bench. She's got seven. She's got seven. Miller's got seven. Those 14 points are 14 of the 16 points of the entire half for Plymouth. 35-30 now. Pilgrims on top by five. And a foul coming against Plymouth. Nickel Dimer out top. Zebras will take it. That gets them closer to the bonus, which they'll be after... The next foul, they'll shoot free throws the rest of the game. Hawes and Watson in. Riley Holloway and Lily Eaton sit down. 7-0-3 remains here in the fourth. 35-30. Zebras trail by five. Burgett with the basketball. Goes to the left side to Watson. Down low to Thomas. Thomas goes to work up underneath. Good to foul. That's a good. You'd love to see the up and under come back. Delp will pick up her third. third yep. and and again, Thomas. that gets the Zebras in the bonus. So they'll be shooting free throws here this final 654 of the fourth quarter. Every foul. Thomas trying to complete the three-point play. Lexi's got eight. Takes her time. Free throw on the way. Good. 35-33. 654 to and go. And she's three of three from the free throw line. Those are good numbers. Lady Zebras are five of six from the free throw line. That's a great number. Zebra, or excuse me. Jones with the basketball for the Pilgrims. Jones on the left side. They're trying to go down low to Miller. Can't get it to her. Now they'll pull up a shot on the way by 
Granati off the mark, no good. An offensive rebound for Plymouth. Stolen by Watson, now picked back up by Plymouth. In the backcourt, Jones. Jones has it. And now top of the key, they'll slow it back down. Top of the key to the volleyball line. They go right side to Mann. That's Mann's area right in there. She takes a couple dribbles, comes over to the middle. Now to Delp. Delp steps out. They go down low. Off to Miller. Miller shot no good. Rebound. Last touched by Plymouth. It'll go to the Zebras. Again, almost an oppor- offensive opportunity for Delp. The Zebras got to do a better job of blocking her out. Yep, they're doing a good job. Still getting deflections and some turnovers. It would have been nice if they could have hang on, hung on to the one they had, but they still got a stop, and now they get a chance to tie the game up. Zebras go down low to Thomas. Ball is at her feet. Just That's taking good. too long for that stuff, right? Yeah. We're forcing things. We're, we're looking, looking, then passing. It's got to be, I know where she's going to be there, and i got to move the ball quick, right? Well, the longer you hold the ball and wait for the pass, the less that pass is going to be open. Well, the other problem was you throw it at her feet. It's hard True. to catch. True. Scores on on the inbounds pass. A little jumper at the elbow. Good. Tied at 35. Quickly ahead is Plymouth. Plymouth with the basketball. They throw it to Miller. Out of bounds. Now I think Plymouth's just trying to get a little too crazy, and that's the JV kids. And I think the yeah. Yeah, coach is going to say, hey, okay, you, you had the hot hand. Now come back down. It's one thing <laughs> to catch and shoot. It's another thing to try to make plays, and that's not necessarily Miller's role. And coach is going to remind her that and get, some, get a sub in, and we're tied up with four, five, 35 to go. Burgett with the basketball. Burgett down low to score zone. She kicks it out to Watson. Pass it underneath. Watson holds. Not now now. trying to get it to her, and we got a three-second yeah. call on score zone. Coach Davis not happy with these post players as Millie score zone should be moving. There's no reason why the opposite side well, post true. should get a three-second call. Uh, but, you know, Thomas was open on that skip pass to Watson. And if she throws too. it. He had a timeout down here. His whistle blew first. His whistle blew first down here. Coach Jennings doesn't like it, but, yeah, the, the, the far official did have the timeout. We got a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. Tell you all about our proud supporters. Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, insurance bonds and wealth management. Woodlawn Hospital, where care and compassion meet. Manitou Moose Lodge, Family Fund Center number 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. In Fulton County Solid Waste District, don't trash our future. Please recycle all proud supporters of Zebra Basketball here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Five and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. We're still knotted at 35 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It'll be Plymouth basketball. They will inbound. Doing the inbounding will be Ellie Jones. Zebra's putting on full court pressure. Jones to inbound. Looking to get it in. Struggling. Finally gets it in. Tipped loose by Burgett. Nice Stolen deal. to Thomas. Thomas. Oh. Layup no good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. Plymouth with the basketball and a foul coming against Rochester. And unfortunately, it's going to be Cammy's third. I mean, you had a great opportunity. You missed Feels like there's been a handful of yes. wide open layups we've had that, you know, he could be up five, seven, eight at this point. Instead, we're tied at 35 with 5.20 to go here in the contest. Hawes with a steal. Nice on the inbounds pass. Now to Watson. Watson has it. Watson throws up a shot. No good. Thomas with a rebound. One good double steps back up. No uh, good. I got to finish Scores with your zone with a rebound. Scores zone kicks it back out to Watson, and the Zebras will pull it out and reset. Watson has it. Watson at the volleyball line. Comes to the near side. Goes down low to Millie. Millie back out to Watson. Top of the key. Three Short. on the way. Short into the hands of Thomas. Up no good. And Delp's going to pick up her fourth. Delp. Foul situation is not deterring her from being aggressive. She is still trying to block every shot she can inside. Zebras will take that as long as they go strong and use shot fakes. Thomas will go to the free throw line again. She's got nine points. And I'm guessing she's going to come out after this first free throw attempt by Lexi Thomas. 4.54 to go here in the fourth, tied at 35. (laughs) Free throw's no good. Again, I apologize for the static. Not quite sure what's causing that here tonight. Delp does come out. Sophie Miller comes back in, who's kind of had the hot hand for scoring purposes here in this uh, second half. 
Thomas, the second free throw on the way, and it's no good. And Miller with the rebound. Miller's pass is stolen by Haas. First shot up, no good, but a foul coming. And unofficially, I have that for 20 turnovers for the Pilgrims. That's the fourth foul on Ellie Jones. So there's a second starter for the Pilgrims with four fouls, and that's going to mean that the Zebras will be shooting two free throws every foul from here on out. Haas has two. First one's good. And Hunter will come back in. Sarah Hunter, the 5'10 senior, she's checking in for Ellie Jones. 4.50 to go here in the fourth. Zebras now with a one-point lead, trying to make it two. Will be Sid Haas. Free throw, good again. Good job. 37-35, Zebras here in that full court press. Getting the ball in, they do so. Plymouth has not liked this, just a good old-fashioned man-to-man yeah. press. They've struggled against it. And they get it across, and finally, now they're going to be teamed up. It should be close to a five-second call. And now oh. they're going to call a push-off by Sid Hawes at about four and a half seconds. <laughs> Just the team fifth. Hawes picks up her second. 4.38 to go. Zebra's up by two. They get it in to Miller. Sophie Miller with the basketball. Gets it across to Jones. Jones. Now to Granati. Dragnati. Dragnati dribbles in, and she's going to be fouled. And if that's on Sid, that's her third. Yep. And that means Plymouth will be shooting free throws as well. So it could be a free throw contest here down the stretch. <laughs> 4.28 to go. They get it in. Tipped by Thomas. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth. And it'll be on the side right in front of the uh, Zebra student body. Zebras are 7 for 10 from the line tonight. So if it is a free throw contest, at least tonight, they have shooting it pretty well so far. They get the ball in. And here come the Zebra press. Man press. They kind of trap it in the corner. They do so. They get it off to Sheedy. Sheedy, her pass is stolen. Another turnover against the Plymouth Pilgrims. Zebras with a two-point lead and four minutes to go. And the basketball. Watson picks up her dribble. Now has to give it off to Burkett. Burkett on the right wing. Burkett dribbles. Now to score zone. Into the corner to Sid. Hawes for three. Good. Back up to a five-point zebra lead, 40-35. Sid with uh, making some great plays on the press, uh, making free throws, making a three. Sid Hall is just doing normally what she does, which yep. is just a lot of key plays. Hunter with the basketball. Now they go down low to Sheedy. Sheedy shot off the mark, no good. Rebound comes away to the Zebras. Zebras look to slow it up and run some clock here with three and a half to go. Pause to Watson. Watson will bring it back to the near side. Now down low to score zone. The ball's tipped. Another turnover on the Zebras. Quickly ahead to Jones. Jones layup, no good. Thomas with a rebound. Lexi Thomas has it. Gives it off to Watson. Now to Burkett. Burkett will walk it across and give the uh, couple other Zebras the time to get down. And a <laughs> hand check. And that's going to be two shots now for Burkett. Cammie not been in the line tonight. She's got five points all in the third quarter. Jackson will check in at the next opportunity after this first free throw. Cammie Burgett with two opportunities. 3.05 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. First one, good. Jackson will come in and score his own will sit down. Delps back in. And also Ellie Jones back in. The contest for the Plymouth Pilgrims. According to Val, it's a four-minute scoring drought for the Lady Pilgrims. And Zebras had a four-minute one earlier. Second free throw, no good. Rebound comes away to Plymouth. 11-0 run for the Zebras, according to Val. Well, I'm sure he is as more accurate than we are. Top of the key <laughs> is Jones. Jones <laughs> has it, dribbles in, then dribbles back out. Now hands it off to Ellie. Back to Lena. Lena, right side. Lena with 2.45 to go. Lena trying to go down low. They can't do so. Now they get it to Miller at the elbow. Turn around, jumper, up and good. Well, I think uh, Miss Miller has earned herself some more varsity time after tonight's performance. Five, seven freshmen. Some of those freshmen that come in, they just don't right. know any better. Right. <laughs> She's got the hot hand. As 
Haas now with the basketball. Haas travels. Yep. Yeah. Turnover zebra. Again, looked awkward. That's got to come to a jump stop, right? Just got a little ahead of herself. You want to be aggressive, which got to stay under control. Jump stops, bounce passes, late in games. Those two things are important. Four-point zebra lead, 226 to go. And it's tipped, picked up by Watson, up and good. Great deflection by Cammy Burkett to make that happen. Yep. Plymouth tries to get it in. They do to Miller. Sophie with the basketball. She's going to be fouled by Burkett in the backcourt. It's Burkett's fourth. And, and that'll be Holloway seven. in at the next opportunity. And it will be one and one free throws. It's one of those things. Now you're up six. A couple minutes left. You don't want the team that's trailing to get to the free throw line and score with the clock stop. So the press has been good, but you got to be smart and disciplined with that press now because you do have a lead. You don't necessarily need the turnovers. You need the clock running without Plymouth scoring, and every time you foul them, they're going to the free throw line. Maddie Mann checks back into the t- contest for Plymouth. In for Rochester was Holloway, and Perkett will sit out. Free throw on the way for Miller. No good. Sid Hawes with another rebound. Don't forget, coming out at the end of the contest tonight, we'll choose a player of the game being brought to you by Manitowoc Moose Family Fun Center. Here we go, the Rochester delay game. Yep. like to see it here. Just got, again, jump stop, spawns passes, and meet your pass. Two minutes left in the contest. 43-37, Zebras lead it. Hawes with it. Now to Watson. Watson top of the key. Watson back out to Hawes. Hawes has the basketball. Hawes gives it off to Jackson. Jackson then is going to be oh. – oh. Not quite sure how he called an offensive foul when the player in front of her was on the knees. He says she lowered her shoulder. She's getting hung on, right? She's getting hung on. And Timeout Plymouth. Let's see if it's a 60 or a 30. Official hasn't indicated. Timeout. Full timeout. We'll take it as well. 141 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 43-37, Zebras on top. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School, Zebras have the lead. 43-37 here at Rochester High School. Minute 41 left on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Both teams shooting free throws uh, on every foul. Possession arrow right now goes to Plymouth. And looks, according to me, Plymouth has two timeouts left. Zebras have four. Plymouth will inbound right in front of the Zebra bench. They get it in to Miller. Sophie Miller with the basketball. Miller has it. Top of the key. Miller now to Jones. Back over to Lena Jones. Lena Jones with the basketball. Lena Jones has it. Jones down low. Miller, no good. Rebound fought for, and the ball still loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Plymouth basketball. Good effort. That doesn't hurt you, right? It doesn't hurt you. Uh, you get a chance to set your defense. Plymouth has to inbound the ball. Good effort by Lexi Thomas to go on the ground and get a jump ball. Top of the key. Oh, no, they'll go baseline and work it in. And coming out will be Jackson. So you probably want your best free throw shooters in right now. Jones gets it in. To Delp. Delp goes up against Thomas, and it's going to be no good, but a foul coming. And that'll send Delp to the line for two. It's only Lexi's second, but as you said, you're going to send Delp to the line for two. Again, you're scoring points at the clock stop. You don't want to do that. Rochester, yeah, like you said, they're ninth, so now that will put two free throws the rest of the way, but Delp gets two here anyway. First one off the back of the iron, no good. Delp averaging 17, only has four. Now she's now 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Jackson back in. Kenan, or, uh, Burkett sits down. 43-37. One seventeen to go here in the fourth. Delp with another opportunity. Free throw is no good. Miller with a rebound. Ball's knocked loose on the floor. And we got a Coach Jennings timeout. And it's going to be a full timeout. We'll take one as well with a minute 12 left to go here in the fourth quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 43-37, Zebras lead, Giant FM and RTC TV4. At Rochester High School. A little confusion here with uh, We haven't played it many times since 2016. Plymouth. 2017. they had the ball, but it's Zebra basketball. Yeah. Hawes has it. Full court press put on now by Plymouth. And... Hawes thought Watson was somewhere, and she wasn't. Turnover, Zebras. Thought she'd zig, and she zagged. Yeah. 43-37. 
Minute seven to go here in the fourth. They get it in to Don't Delp. Jump with her. Delp goes up, no good. Delp's rebound is knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth. All right, Lexi's got to understand that's going to be a tough catch. Don't try to jump with her and, and pick up a cheap foul and set her free throw, even if she struggled from the line. Just contest without fouling. Jones with the basketball, Ellie Jones. Now to Lena. Lena goes down low to Delp. And Great help by Jackson. Jackson's going to yeah, be tied that's up. That's going to be Rochester ball. Zebra basketball turnover yeah. Plymouth. That's, that's, you know, Lexi stayed behind that time. Kennedy read the pass, came over, double team Delp. As she turned, she turned right into Jackson. She got a jump ball, zebra ball. Now full court press again by the Plymouth Pilgrims. Jackson with the inbounds. Now to Haas. Haas to Jackson. She gets it across the timeline. Kennedy Jackson now to Watson. Watson will bring it back up with 45 seconds go. to go. Yeah. Watson goes left side with 40 to Burgett. Burgett has it. They're wanting to foul. Plymouth's not fouling. They give it to Hawes with 35. She's got four fouls. If Delp fouls her, yep. She, yep, Delp's done. But, again, 30 seconds to go. You're down six. You don't have much of a choice. But a very frustrating game for Miss Delp. Delp, as we said, she's averaging 17, and she only scored two tonight. Four, sorry, four. That is her fifth. And, and it's going to be two free throws yep. for Sid Hawes, who is two for two so far tonight. So she'll go to the line. With 31.8 seconds to go here in the contest. Zebras up six, 43-37. Randy Wayne, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us. It's not been pretty at times, but uh, it's been a good basketball game overall. Hawes with a two free throws. First one's good. It's been one of those grinder games that you tend to see in sectional play. So, you know, you get a Tuesday night game in the sectional. If you very much like this. 44-37. Second free throw, Hawes again good. 45-37, 31 seconds to go. Zebras do not want to foul here. Plymouth with the basketball. Lena Jones with it. Lena Jones. Zebras are 6 of 9 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Now they give it off to Dragnani. She'll be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two, and yeah. that's the fifth on Jackson. It's almost one, you know. Kind of want to just let it go, right? Yeah. Let her score the two, let take the ball in bounds. Yeah. Like, They're going to foul you. So Yeah. Jackson fouls out. Again, the post game coming up at the conclusion of tonight's game, being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. And we'll also choose the Manitou Moose Family Fund Center player of the game. And I've got my, my vote. We'll, we'll uh, convene the jury and see if it agrees. A jury of two. Jury of two of your peers. <laughs> 45-37. Second free throw is good this time. 45-38. 18.9 seconds to go. Zebras just need to get in. Plum is going to look to foul right away. And they do. And drag Nanny. And that will put Zebras at the line to shoot two. Going to the line will be Burkett. 45-38. Sixteen point six seconds to go. Zebras look to move and improve to eleven and six. Free throw good by Burgett. Seven of ten in the fourth quarter. That'll win you some games. Yes, much better free throw shooting yes. tonight. Starting at twenty-two out a little better. As we say, improving <laughs> down the stretch. That that's something you want. Get to the line more often and make a higher percentage. Those are two things the zebras need to do here in January. Miss that one, but gets her own rebound. She gets it off to Watson and a foul coming. And Callie Watson now will go to the free throw line to shoot two. With eleven point five seconds to go. Watson's going to become the sixth Lady Zebra to attempt a free throw. That's good as well. Get players more crunch time free throw opportunities. That bodes well for sectional and the remaining conference games. Watson's first one's good. Into the contest will be Himes for Plymouth. Watson will have another opportunity. 47-38 trying to make this a 10-point lead and misses it. But Hawes with another rebound. <laughs> Hawes kicks it back out to... Holloway now to Watson and a foul as Coach Holler's no fouls. And man fouls. Zebras will go back to the line and Watson. What? 
We do have a, a jury of three, I should say. <laughs> what? Mr. Stricker. He, he, sent, oh. he sent me his vote. That's fair. Yeah. I was say, we don't need any peanut gallery people, but he's... He, he, he's peanut he, gallery, but, no, yeah, but he's, he's way up there in that right. top, top right. salon of peanut gallery. He's, he's, part of the, he's part of the team. <laughs> he's good. Three on the way for Himes at the buzzer. No good, and that's going to do it. The Zebras win it tonight. 48-38. Much closer than the final score indicates, but when you hit free throws down the stretch, that's what helps. We come back. It'll be the Post Game Show again tonight by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins and the Manitou Moose Player player of the Game. Again, the Zebras winning on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 48-38. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4.